fellas to do it, man. Like, simply put, one of the most honest MCs that I know. Pure, fluid. The flow is literally like water, but you can feel her. She's a, a huge part of what hip hop is missing right now. That's my word. One day I was listening to the album and I'm not sure if Mike was thinking the same thing. Mike is uh, uh, the founder of Mellow Music Group. And um, I was think listening to the album and I hit him with a text like, yo, uh, maybe we should do a remix album. He was like, yes, it's a great idea. And um, I was just thinking like, damn son, like there's a lot of shit on this album that people haven't heard because it just kind of got kind of lost in the sauce. So it was like, let's go back and revisit so we can make sure that the substance was, uh, was still, wasn't missed. Like, so that people understood what it was that we were trying to do with Brown Study. So in order to make sure that one, we promote Brown Study, and two, promote Book Brown as an artist, and three, make sure that it's recognized that um, I'm still making music <laughs> that I haven't gone anywhere in spite of me being under a rock for the past couple well shit for the past year as far as music is concerned. Pookie be the butter for the toast. She's a phenomenal MC. A force to be reckoned with. It was uh, favorites that I had of course. Favorites that Mike had uh, and a lot of up-and-coming producers that I really wanted to like showcase and like a lot of people that I love that people haven't heard of or people haven't heard enough from that I just was like you know shit if we can get these people on here to do some remix joints let's do it you know you know I'm really really honored that the people that got involved got involved because it, it sounds dope to me it's got a whole it's got a fresh feeling to it, so I'm liking it. I'm digging it. I hope y'all digging it. <laughs> Yo, Book Brown is a, a, a monster, a verbal genius even. I would go that far to say that. Deadlines, because everybody's got things that they're doing, so a lot of my deadlines weren't the same for other people, and a lot of Mellow Music Group's deadlines weren't the same for me. Like, it was just getting everybody on the same schedule and on the same accord. And it's tough when you got that many people involved, but it's worth, it was worth doing. It was definitely worth doing. Who the fuck is Bug Brown? <laughs> That's easy. I don't even know why I'm acting like I gotta think about that. Bug Brown is a problem. When I was listening to it, I was listening for a feeling of somebody capturing the essence of something, but revamping it and, and showing it in a different light. I will say, hands down, my favorite is Growth, AKA Carpe Diem by 14KT. I felt like, not that any of the other ones weren't dope because they were all dope, but that one made me feel like I was in church. Like, KT just has this way of putting his whole spirit into a song. The fuck is Book Brown? Nah, Book Brown is dope, yo. We just sonically, Mike and I had to really hear what sound well together. Like hear how the, the the energy of the project was going, hear how the music felt together, and see what went where. So it was just like making a puzzle, but not a like 5,000 piece puzzle, it was more like a 100 piece puzzle. So it was a lot, it was a lot easier than the original for me. Who the fuck's is Book Brown? Probably one of the most powerful women, woman, women, all of them. <laughs> On the microphone and in person, personality that you might ever get a chance to meet. I had wanted to celebrate my city in a way that people could maybe get it, and if you don't get it, then you don't get it. But the people that are there, that have gone through it, or that even understand just the little subtle references that I put in the song, even musically, the subtle references that I put in the song, like, they'll understand it, they'll feel it, they'll get it. It's a celebration for us. It, you don't have to understand, you don't have to get it, you don't have to love it, whatever. It's not for you. It's about being from a place that 
It's hard, it's tough, but I swear to God, you won't see the amount of gardens and the amount of activism. The, you won't find that anywhere else but in Detroit. You know, after she spit, she spit live on the mic, and all I could really remember was Book Brown. Detroit went on there because, you know, people want new music, and so there you have one new song. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on a lot of things, but I'm, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I'm allowing myself to be more free with it. So, basically, you should have something new soon, but like I said, this is a precursor. I'm gonna give it away too soon. Can't give it all away. Jeez, I'm a lady. <laughs> I think so, and I think it'll be a lot of people that'll be like, oh man, that's the remix, let me hear what the original sound like, just out of sheer curiosity. So I'm hoping that it goes in that way, and I'm hoping that you will buy them both, because I'm hungry, I like to eat a lot. So, you know, buy the album. <laughs> buy the albums. Who the fuck is Book Brown? Book Brown is an MC. she is hip hop, She's beautiful from the inside out. She's a breath of fresh air. Please, just know that this is only because off the top of my head, I'm no good. So, shout out to everybody that worked on the project, right? Hoslo, Audible Doctor, Illa, Apollo, um, Amdex, Georgia, Georgia Amaldro, Def D, Marv1, 14KT, uh, Dunk, and Nick the Wanda. I so appreciate y'all for like rocking out with me. And all the features too, Cam, Cam Moy, AKA Superstition, um, Amdex actually rhymed on here. Marv One dropped a rhyme on here. So yeah, I love y'all. Thank y'all so much. Y'all laced this joint. Y'all laced this joint, <laughs> hold on, wait. Let me pause it. Y'all laced it. <laughs> Thanks to Flux for the artwork. It's beautiful. Thank y'all so much. Shout out to Mellow Music Group, holler. Yeah, <laughs> go buy that shit. <laughs>